The story for Dead Island Riptide takes place immediately after the end of Dead Island 1 and it sees the four survivors escaping that island and going onto a helicopter and then landing on a ship. They are immediately taken into custody by a colonel named Sam Hardy and a guy named Frank Serpo who is like a big business dude on the ship. When you get sent to the brig, you actually meet a new survivor named John Morgan who has his own stories to tell. So now you have five survivors. Look at that. They up the ante by one. Of course, bad things start happening on the ship. You find your way out of the brig, but of course, zombies are everywhere. And of course, you find out that the storm outside is tearing the ship up. The ship starts to go down and you, of course, go down with it. But you wake up on a brand new island, of course, and this one is Palina, and you have to find a way out of this island before, of course, the military nukes it. Yeah, that's right. A military nukes it, and you have to find out how to get you and a bunch of other survivors off this island before time runs out. While the story itself has a very B-movie-ish feel and the dialogue sometimes can be so cheesy it's funny and I like that your main character or any of the other survivors actually talk more than in the original Dead Island, it's still not a very compelling story, it really isn't. The story is predictable and even some of the side missions, all they are is like, hey, go find this thing and bring it back and that's it. There's no real cool little side stories and all the characters aren't likable even though they try to make you like them and make you feel something when they die, you don't. So overall, it's not a great story. It's okay, it's fun at times, but it's really nothing great overall. Now the sound for Riptide is actually pretty decent. The voice acting itself has its moments of very cheesy and very wooden acting here and there, but for the most part it actually does work and there is some decent voice acting and I really do like that your survivors actually talk way more besides just going yes or I'll do it or yeah, yes siree or oh I'm kicking you in the face zombie. The sound design is actually the highlight of the sound because the zombies themselves sound really damn good, especially when you're cutting them into pieces and you hear that squishy noise noise and when you're kicking and punching them it actually sounds like you're beating the crap out of some meat which it, that's what I do every day <laughs> oh and the soundtrack itself has a pretty decent score but I will have to say this it has hoodoo you voodoo one of my favorite songs ever Sam B one hit wonder I love that song so overall the sound here is pretty decent for the most part now the graphics for Dead Island Riptide, like the original, are not amazing. There are plenty of glitches, muddy textures, repetitive character models, performance issues. There's a lot of problems in this game. But there's going to be those times where you're just running through the environment and you see all the foliage around you, uh, the sun's out, the water looks really good, uh, there's a bunch of houses everywhere, it looks very populated, zombies are trying to kill you and just cutting them into pieces and it looks great while you're doing that. If you have a flame or a, an electric weapon, you can just electrocute them or put them on fire and it looks great. At times this game can look really damn good. But then you have everything that I said, all the glitches, performance issues, muddy textures, and one thing I didn't mention, some of the character models for the main characters and side characters that you talk to, animation-wise, it looks bad, and even facial-wise, it doesn't look that great either. So there is a lot of problems, but there is a lot of good in the game too. So it's a mixed bag, but I would lean it more towards good than bad, definitely. So there you go, there's the graphics. Now the gameplay for Dead Island Riptide is just more Dead Island. If you're coming into this game expecting new innovations to the gameplay, then sorry, you're going to be disappointed because all it is is just more zombie killing fun with some of your sharp weapons, your blunt weapons, your guns, whatever you have, just anything. You can import your character from the original Dead Island and bring them into Riptide. And don't worry if your character was already level 50 maxed out, they actually add an extra 20 levels so it's actually increased to 70 so you can try to get to that mark now. The gameplay is pretty much exactly the same as the original but it's still that great melee system that I love using in the game. It's so much fun to pick up different weapons, either shotguns or pistols or of course the great melee system with either like knives or uh, throwing knives or of course like blunt weapons like bats and pipes. It's just great to pick up different weapons, upgrade them, put different mods on them from the stuff that you find in the environment and just make a badass weapon. I mean I, I love using electric mods and fire mods and just making my weapon weapons just so good. And while the gameplay itself is pretty much the same, they do add different things here and there. Like they give you a bunch of different weapons, they give you some new enemy variations to fight, they give you a brand new island to explore, which is pretty big. Not as big as the original game, but it's pretty big and it has its own section of forest and swamp. And I think it's pretty entertaining just to explore this and help out people with side missions. It's entertaining just to explore. 
To get around in this game, you could either fast travel, which, what, what, how's that even fun? Come on, no exploring, just fast traveling? Don't do that. Get a car or a boat. Now, I'm going to say this. The car itself is fun, running over zombies, whatnot. It's the same as the original game. The boat itself is really annoying because the zombies can get on your boat, and there are tons and tons of zombies in the swamp. I don't know why, but there's so many zombies, and they can run so fast in the, the water that they can pretty much catch, catch up with your boat, especially if you, like, crash or hit something and you're at a complete stop they can go and drag you off the boat and kill you instantly pretty much that gets a little annoying but the boat itself controls pretty decently and i like that there's a speed boost so you can run over zombies and stuff that was pretty fun and my personal favorite part of the last game is back in riptide and that is the drop in drop out four player co-op which is so much fun just to have a bunch of random people join in or of course some of your best buds and just chill out talk you know kill a bunch of zombies do a bunch of missions get a bunch of experience get some loot it's a hell of a good time and the gameplay itself holds up so good that you never really notice it's getting repetitive especially when you're playing with a bunch of your friends but I'm not gonna lie to you people this game is not great it really is it has a lot of performance issues the frame rate just chugs at times uh, the glitches are rampant all the way throughout the game even though I think some of the glitches are a lot of fun just to see because they're hilarious and while there are tons of missions, a lot of them are just go fetch quest this or go save this person and there's not too much variety and not too much originality. But besides those problems, in all honesty, it's not a great game, but I do in fact love this game. It's just so much fun to go and play with a bunch of friends, killing zombies, getting loot, all that stuff. It's a great experience, but it's still not a completely well-made game. It's a lot of fun, definitely worth 50 bucks, but you're going to have some issues. But if you have friends, you're going to have a good time. So there you go. There's my review of Dead Island Riptide. Great game if you want to have fun. Thank you and goodbye.